Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering AWS reInvent 2017. Presented by AWS, Intel, and our ecosystem of partners. Hey, welcome back everyone, live here in Las Vegas. This is theCUBE's exclusive coverage of AWS reInvent, Amazon Web Services annual conference. 45,000 people here, huge event. This is the industry bellwether for cloud computing now, soon to be IT, public sector, IOT, AI, as Amazon sets the trends, the Cube's got the coverage. I'm John Furrier with Stu Miniman. Our next two guests is Barry Russell, general manager, and business developer for Amazon Web Services Marketplace, hot and on fire growing, and Thomas Wyatt, chief strategy officer at AppDynamics, partner of AWS. Yeah. Welcome to the Cube. It's great Thank to be you. here, guys. Partner Central, a lot of love going on in the partnerships because Amazon has an enabling platform. They lower the costs, increase the value, yep. and increase the wealth creation flowing around. You guys are taking advantage of that. Absolutely, so with AppDynamics, we're helping customers with their cloud migration to Amazon. Uh, you know, applications really are becoming the foundation of the modern business, and understanding the performance of those applications, the users, the application, the business metrics themselves is critical, as this really signifies the brand for most companies. So, as they are moving their workloads over to Amazon, it's critical they really understand that how things are performing and make sure that they perform well in that new environment. And so, the relationship we've had together has been phenomenal in helping that happen. I've done a lot of work, though, on the app side, and it's interesting, in the hot trend right now that we're seeing certainly in this cloud convergence with IT in particular, as well as other, other markets, I mentioned IoT and AI, obviously hot as hot as hell as well, is the instrumentation of the data is super yes. critical. Yes. And that is not new to you guys, yes. but it's now becoming apparent that it's easy to do in the cloud than it was before. Sure. What do you see, How do you, I mean, you must look at the cloud and be like, man, this is so awesome, horizontally scalable, but all the goodness of having that instrumentation. What's your take on that? Right, so it really starts with that. Instrumentation provides you the insights in real time necessary to make, take advantage of the optimizations that cloud provides you. So that ability to scale up, scale down, if you know how your applications are performing in real time, you take that guesswork out. And I think that's really what, Leveling, you know, app dynamics with Amazon really gives you that capability of the best of both worlds. Yeah, Barry, the, the application monitoring space, you have a number of really good partners here. Amazon also has some of their own pieces. How do you balance uh, that, that sort of engagement? We've seen, you know, the Partner Summit, I saw some really good slides up there. We've interviewed a number of the partners of this space, but want to get your viewpoint. Well, first, app dynamics makes their software available as SaaS, yeah. uh, which is a pretty pretty quickly growing trend with all sorts of customers, you know, particularly enterprise customers wanting to move to that model. And then we work with AppDynamics to come up with a specific use case for the workloads that are migrating over, particularly with customers that are migrating um, large amount of workloads as they're shutting down data centers. And we make those available to those customers and provide them with a, with a choice. And once we document that technical use case, we can put that in the hands of our SAs, uh, our solution architects, ProServe teams, uh, and consulting partners like Second Watch and Slalom, Accenture and Deloitte to help advise the customer on which third-party software meets those workload needs best. Yeah, Thomas, you know, Cisco's got a pretty sizable presence at this show. I was mentioning, you know, this is the second recently acquired company yes. of Cisco that, I, that we've had on the program uh, this week. I mean, they spent billions of dollars yes. on AppDynamics and a bunch of others. Cisco's always been an acquisitive company, but, you know, what, what, what is the, kind of the acceleration of cloud, you know, mean for Cisco? How have companies like AppDynamics helping, you know, along that shift for Cisco's business? Yeah, that's a great question. I think the way to think about it is Cisco's really been helping our par customers with their networking, their data centers, security, but it was a critical missing component for us was really understanding application intelligence and how end users and businesses are impacted by the infrastructure. And so bringing AppDynamics into part of Cisco, which we're running it fairly autonomously, but having the ability to connect to other infrastructure related products to provide more real time intelligence is a key part of the strategy. So bringing those things together and then complementing that with our yeah. cloud partners and the marketplace has really made that super easy for us now from the context of making it easier to buy AppDynamics with AWS, that combination has been uh, super powerful. Talk about the marketplace dynamics that you're trying to create, Barry, because you obviously got a good thing going. What are you doing to create the incentives, create a frictionless environment? Because I mean, obviously you, you, want, you don't want any friction, but you got growth. We do. What are some of the speed bumps you're hitting? How are you addressing it? How are you working with the app dynamics of the world? 
Is there incentive programs? Is there joint selling? How should partners think about that? And, and, and then I'd love to get your reaction to Amazon's programs. Well, there's one key thing that we launched a couple of week, weeks ago, it's called Seller Private Offers. And what it enabled uh, us to do, and it was kind of a missing piece, was for a seller to work with a customer, so App Dynamics working with a customer, to negotiate on best price and terms for a longer period duration of use, one, two, or three year subscription. That enabled the customer um, to get the best terms and price to run the software on AWS, and it also enabled sales teams, uh, for example, working with Cisco and App Dynamics, to sell in a way that they were more accustomed to once a customer was familiar with the software. And then we announced Renewals that- Renewals and recurring revenue. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Smiling over there. And then we paired, it, we paired it with the Enterprise Contract that we launched on Tuesday, uh, which was a negotiated set of terms to remove a ton of friction around legal negotiation of standard contract terms between software vendors and enterprise buyers. And so we're trying to innovate between both the buyer and the seller at all times. So until you can actually voice order product, <laughs> you're going to always be <laughs> chipping away at the friction. Always. Right. All right, your reaction to Amazon. How are they a partner? You can sell the truth even though he's standing right there. Yeah, Come on. no, you absolutely. I mean, here's the, here's the key thing. We've been a marketplace partner for several quarters now. We're seeing huge transactions flow through that. And as part of that, the two key things that we're finding. The first one is the deal sizes are expanding and largely because there's a lot of comfort from the end customers that the combination of AppDynamics working closely with AWS, ensuring those systems are integrated, that, that they work well together, they can be procured together, there's common bill, those kind of capabilities have really helped us. The second thing is we're proving that we can help accelerate the pace of cloud migration. So we're seeing on average our enterprise customers are getting to the cloud 30% faster by using the two solutions together. So they like the buying methodology. That's right. And speed of deployment. The speed of deployment and the fact that when they get there they know their environment's going to be very stable. They have that additional assurance because they've got the performance monitoring metrics before they make the move and then once they get there they have it because of the app dynamics really provides you that visibility across both. So Thinking about the, it from I a- I saw the announcement, it was one click. Was it Andy who put up one click something? Was that a marketplace deal? I saw it on the keynote yesterday. There was an, some one click, it might have been one click lamb, I don't know. Um, it, I, don't believe, I don't think it was associated with the marketplace. We do still have that feature. <laughs> yeah, so. So things are going good, you're happy? Yeah, great. I mean, a great example, uh, NASDAQ spoke yesterday with Barry Heather Abbott and talked about their experience about moving their workloads over to AWS and how AppDynamics was instrumental to help them understand the dependencies of their environment before they made that transition. There's so many great examples of that and that's why we think- All right, so final question for you and then I know Stu wants to jump in. Andy Chassie told me uh, when I interviewed him last week before the event, customers vote with their workloads. Yeah. What are the workloads that you're seeing moving over? What kinds of workloads fit into this new style, yeah. this new guard model of? I would say a couple years ago it was primarily new apps building from the ground up. Now it's the mission critical stuff. It's the, it's the important things that people are running their businesses on, moving those over, and, and I think that's part of the reason why AppD is becoming more integrated into that is because AppD instruments generally the most critical applications, not necessarily the third and fourth tier. So the typical workloads that impact revenue, impact customer engagement, yeah. are ones that are now being So moved you're at over. the center of all the migrations. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. So, so, so the one, I can't let you go without asking, beyond just getting to the cloud, I'm wondering what you're seeing from customers and how you're working with them on moving along from you know, just instances to containerization and even right. serverless. Yeah, in the enterprise space, we're definitely seeing the, the phase one was just move the existing VMs over, now it's refactoring and reestablishing the, the products and the architectures based on the modern technologies like Lambda and serverless and other things. So, it's all great, it's a really exciting time. Thomas Wyatt, Chief Strategy Officer at AppDynamics, happy partner, obviously mission critical workloads are moving to the cloud, Barry Russell, General Manager of the place, making it happen. Congratulations, Barry, on your success. Thank you. And AppDynamics, congratulations on your, on your you. acquisition with Cisco. Big deal, you guys are driving a big part of their transformation. Yes. Congratulations to you guys Thank as you. well. Of course, Amazon's taking no prisoners here at reInvent, 45,000 people. I'm John Forrest, do many more live coverage from day three after this short break. <laughs>